Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, two really amazing things going on at Wager Talk for us today. First off, it's $9 Monday, so everything is 9 bucks. And we have our fifth 5% play of the MLB season. Just happens to come on $9 Monday, so you guys are getting a fantastic price on our favorite play today and one of our favorites for a while. Uh, we're 3-1 and one on 5% plays this season. We don't play too many of them, but when we do, uh, they've been good. Uh, full transparency, we've uh, hit a, we were on a really, really nice run uh, with MLB picks. Uh, little, you know, ups and downs, a uh, little bit of a bummer. Yesterday, Steve, we went 0-2 in the same game, and it was so close. Yeah, unfortunately, we had the Red Sox and Yankees over. Great comeback by the Red Sox. They were getting no hit after seven innings, but well, we had the over-under at 10.5, and, and they only put up nine combined runs. We also had Perez's under for strikeouts, and he had been consistently going under that number. Unfortunately, yesterday, he really had some good stuff and went over. So we went 0-2 yesterday, unfortunately. That's all right. We're getting back on track. Uh, this was a play we noticed last night, so it's been up for a while. That's how much we loved it. So uh, let's give some free plays. I want to spend some time on these because I think we got two really good <laughs> free plays. These really, really uh, stuck out. So, Steve, I'm going to go with you. Uh, talk to me about this K-prop. I'm going to take Pineda under four and a half strikeouts. He's a... He was a former uh, sticky substance abuser in the past. He was suspended for it. And his first eight games, he had five strikeouts or more. His last five, he's went under. His spin rate is down. His K rate is down. The Tigers bad to really picking it up recently. Give me Pineda's under four and a half strikeouts. It's just amazing that he goes over before the substance enforcement. and yeah, all eight games, and then he goes under in five in a row. So go figure, right? I'm going to take the Reds and Cubs no runs in the first inning. Uh, Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs, uh, four home games in a row without giving up a run. And Wade Miley is going for the Reds. And uh, only one run he's given up in the first inning this year on the road, and that was in Colorado. It's only been one run. So uh, middle of the road in terms of uh, first inning scoring for those two guys. So uh, that's what we got. Let's go get this 5% play winner. See you guys later. Let's get it.